Belle Gibson. She is a uh, woman from uh, Australia, Australia that said that she had brain cancer. She didn't. She died on the operating table twice. She didn't. She had a stroke. She didn't. And that she cured herself by eating clean foods. She didn't. She did write a cookbook, sold millions, made millions of dollars, became very famous, an inspiration to many people. Elle magazine named her as one of, one of the women of the year. The most inspiring woman you'll meet this year. Okay. <laughs> She was lying about all of it. So she was on 60 Minutes, and I was listening to it this morning, and she was on 60 Minutes in Australia, not America, because we don't do any news here. But here she is on 60 Minutes in Australia. Listen to her just talk about uh, her brain... Blake cut 23. She Mm -hmm. thought she had brain cancer. You know, you go on Instagram in 2013. I have been healing a severe and malignant brain cancer for the past few years with natural medicine, Gerson therapy and foods. It's working for me. It is. Mm -hmm. And if any... You didn't have brain cancer (laughs) no i didn't no but when i was writing that i thought that i did and i was feeling well okay all right so that and play uh cut uh, 605 when she was asked how old she is you're 23 right well actually how old are you um i've always been raised um as being currently a 26 year old Mm, i love that Mm -hmm. So I was listening to this, and I thought, boy, she sounds familiar. Mm. She sounds just like the woman in Spokane that claimed that she was black. We're going to play them back to back, and I'm telling you, you can't tell the difference between the two. The question is, pathological liars or truly disturbed? program. Gibson, woman in Australia. She has a some sort of problem she's either a pathological liar or she is seriously ill but she is uh, a woman who claimed she was beating brain cancer and died on the operating table none of these things happen she raised millions of dollars people who are cancer survivors followed her started eating like her because she said she quoted or that she uh, was eating clean she wrote a cookbook i mean it was nuts 60 minutes in australia did an interview with her and you just here's a couple of her answers. You know, you go on Instagram in 2013. I have been healing a severe and malignant brain cancer for the past few years with natural medicine, Gerson therapy and foods. It's working for me. It is. Mm-hmm. And if any you didn't have brain cancer. No, I didn't. No. But when I was writing that, I thought that I did and I was feeling well. You're 23, right? Well, actually, how old are you? Um, I've always been raised um, as being currently a 26-year-old. I love that. How old are you? Well, I live knowing, as I've always known, that I would be 26. (laughs) Okay, Bill. Um, This is a really, really simple question. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I believe that I'm 26. I have... Two birth, two birth certificates, and I've had my name changed four times. The identity crisis there is big, but that was my normal when I was growing up, Tara. That what do you know the truth to be now? That's probably a question that we'll have to keep digging for, because <laughs> it's not something yeah. I've ever understood or had answers around. So when you huh, needed to file some financial it. documents. Mm-hmm. How did you choose the birth date you gave, with if you my, don't know? With my most re- recent deed poll paper, which has um, mm. the younger of the age and the most recent of the name. Right. So currently, then, according to those documents, you're 23. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't even know why. Why would you lie about being 26 when you're 23? I guess just because you could say that you've been through more when you're 26? I don't know. And but as I'm listening to this, I'm hearing the the answers from another interview that we just played here in America a couple of weeks ago. And the difference is, is that this one wasn't about cancer. And so America gave this woman a pass. I do. Yeah, I, I am black. Do you understand um, why many people would think 
given your parents and your heritage, that is at best a misleading answer? Um, mm. I, I can understand that, but again, up to this point, mm -hmm. I know who raised me. I haven't had a DNA test. Mm. There's been no biological proof that Larry and Anne are my biological parents. There's a birth certificate that has your name on it and their names on it. I'm not necessarily saying that, that I can prove they're not, but I don't know that I can actually prove they are. I mean, the wow, it's wow. one thing to mm. embrace the questions as an academic matter. Right. It's another thing to just actually be honest and transparent about who you are. Right. Well, I definitely am not white. Mm, I, yes, you are. I, nothing about being white describes who I am. Except for your whiteness, except for you being a Caucasian. <laughs> and that you have to wake up and do things to your skin to make you look the way that you do. Right. So, right. Yeah. what's the word for it? You know, I mean, I, mm. the closest what thing that I can Crazy? come to is if, if mm. you're black or white, I'm black. I'm more black than I am white. Have you changed your physical appearance? <laughs> um, yeah, well, definitely. I've, I've experimented with my hair since living mm. in Mississippi, really. Me too. I've experimented with my hair, and I think that's why I can now claim I'm full-blooded Cherokee. <laughs> full-blooded. Yeah, agreed. Full -blooded, I, right? Yeah. He's a Cherokee right. woman. Well, if you're going to say, are you Cherokee or not Cherokee, we're going to say Cherokee. I'm going to say Cherokee. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, nothing. I, here's the thing. I don't have any DNA tests that uh, that uh, so you're Joseph not and Catherine are my parents. Right. Mm -hmm. when, uh, show, but show me the proof. I have no proof. Are there names on my birth certificate? Yes. Does was I did I see them sign it at the time? No. Has there been a DNA test to prove that these two are I think these two frauds I'm gonna come are my clean parents. With you guys. I'm They're gonna, not. I'm going to come clean with you guys. I uh -oh, haven't told right. this story before. Uh -oh. Okay. But when I was 14 years old mm -hmm. and just starting to go through puberty, oh, no. I developed breast cancer. Oh no. Really? And I've had I had at the time both my breasts removed. Were they white breasts or were they black? I mean, I'm just wondering what race you were at the time. How did your no, breasts identify? Identify? Okay. How did you identify? Huh? I was white. Okay. How I was white. Your All breasts right. identified as white or they were biologically they were white? They were enormous. I'm sure they were well, enormous. They yeah. still are. So when did they grow back? Uh, they didn't. These are breast implants. Oh. Uh, reconstruction, uh, reconstructive surgery because mm -hmm. I'm thinking about just letting everybody know I'm identifying again as Glowina, which... Which mm. is you were originally born Glowina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. And it's uh, interesting. So I, I, and there's no birth certificate. I mean, my birth certificate says that I was a male. Right. But you never identified I that. Never way. identified myself as a male. And I'm not really sure that Bill and Mary weren't trying to make me into a male. Well, think about this. What kind of arbitrary names are Bill and Mary? That could be anybody. That could be, that could be anybody. It's obvious. Right. It's an obvious fraud, right? <laughs> right. It's some sort of hoax being perpetrated on you, and it because pisses, it pisses me off. This is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> we are living in a crazy world. It this is. is the kind of this is, is this is a joke that we're talking like this. I know, but it, th there are people that are actually be be believe this stuff. They're actually talking this way. When we said in two, and they're in our they're in our college institutions. Yes, microaggression. What is microaggression? Something that doesn't rise to the level of hate. That's what uh -huh. it is. Uh -huh. well, and so they de they deem it microaggression. It doesn't rise to the level of anything. Because right. when you say. America is a melting pot. You're not saying anything wrong. Stop it. Right. I mean, that's just ridiculous. When, when there's no overt actual aggression, you come up with a term called microaggression. To try to make something completely innocuous sound bad. Or to, to make something actually positive sound like a negative. Mm -hmm. Well, I, there's a lot of our jokes that have become reality. So sure. this will be reality soon enough. And when we it's said in 2000... I'm already accepting it. it almost I, I'm reality. already accepting it as reality. Right. You talk about not recognizing your country and we used to say all the time that in some amount of time we wouldn't be able to i never thought it would get to this level where you would have i mean we always thought that was governmental things and we've had plenty of that but the societal things i got news for you are even more ridiculous I got news for you